Good evening. What's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here on this uh, Thursday evening, July 22nd, 2021. It's a date uh, a little bit after 8 o'clock p.m. West Coast time in California. The uh, latest quake out there on the globe is going to be a 3.0 out around the Puerto Rico area. See a little bit of significant uh, uptick in earthquake activity out there. Rest of the globe. Let's go ahead and check that out. Out on the flat scale map. Um, I tell you what, man, California, uh, as you guys know, I was kind of up there around the uh, Chester area um, yesterday. And uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, it was pretty crazy up there. But uh, since then, there has been a couple new fires that have started around the region, which is kind of scary. Here in California, uh, seems like fires start out of, out of the blue. Uh, which is not not a good thing Let's go ahead and pull up the USGS map here. Here we go um, And regarding those fires, we just had another Fire start. I uh, just want to go over this real quick here. The big fire the Dixie fire is kind of up here by uh, Chester area Lake Almanor region very beautiful area a lot of nice cabins and homes uh, The fire kind of started down here in the Feather River Canyon kind of the same area where the uh, Paradise fire started a couple years ago so anyway, we're getting the fire a couple different directions, heading up here towards Chester and another one taking off over here towards Greenville. There has been a new fire start uh, just to the northwest of Quincy down here, heading towards Greenville. So we got three distinct areas of fire that are heading off um, towards the northeast. And then a new fire down here uh, near Oroville, kind of kind of out in the mountainous area. So I don't know what's going on, all I know is that we're getting fires started for no reason at all. There's no lightning storms. There's no uh, no reason for these fires to be starting, but they're starting, and uh, it's sickening. Uh, earthquake activity. Let's go ahead and jump back into that. Um, some movement up here uh, into the north part of the uh, state of California, 2.0. Well up here into the, uh, looks like Butte Valley area, a couple fracture zones. Um, fault systems up here looks like Cedar Mountain fault system picking up that 2.0 and the uh, 1.8 a little bit further down uh, near McLeod California uh, some movement also into the uh, areas of the Sacramento Valley uh, nothing significant but definitely uh, movement picking up a little bit near Sacramento River outside of Chico here and some further movement south of Arbuckle near Interstate 5 uh, just some microquakes taking place and also some movement uh, off the coast of Eureka 2.5 at the uh, Gorda Ridges area on the Gorda Plate. <clears throat> movement uh, around the Antelope Valley area of uh, California, looking uh, like it's picking up a little bit. Although not anything really to write home about when you check out the 2.5 map, uh, kind of dwindles down on the a multitude of quakes there. So a lot of this activity just on the micro uh, micro quake level but still activity nonetheless long valley super volcano kind of quiet just a couple small micro quakes out uh, to the west of the caldera uh, a little bit of further movement kind of ramping up near ridgecrest along the fracture zones uh, the july 4 july 5th um, earthquakes there a couple years ago down into the south part of the state uh, once again seeing a little bit of earthquake activity along the imperial fault that's the extensional fault system, the plate boundary of the uh, North American Pacific Plate. Kind of seeing a little swarm of activity there, so keeping an eye on that. Uh, when we drop the magnitudes there, it's only uh, looks like a 3.0 and a couple two upper twos kicking up. Uh, but still, earthquake activity ramping up there in a little swarm. Uh, might want to pay attention up here along the Salton Sea area uh, for possible swarming activity along the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone here pretty soon. The uh, Central part of the country or at least the southern plains area looking uh, somewhat active not as active as last night in Oklahoma But some movement over around Pecos, Texas again and Smiley, Texas and uh, What's this area over here? I forgot the name of this region Quinton. That's right Quinton, Oklahoma Seeing a little swarm of activity as well uh, Towards the eastern part of the country nothing too big actually nothing showing up right now on the new Madrid fault system a little bit of movement out here along the Appalachian Mountains, south of Knoxville, around the Tennessee area, 
and a little bit of earthquake activity down in North Carolina, but a couple small microquakes. So looking at the uh, overall picture, just uh, quite a bit of movement uh, outside of the North American Craton. Uh, it's kind of within this region right here. It stretches, of course, up into Canada, but a little bit of a adjustment around that area. And uh, some further movement, a little bit of aftershock activity for the uh, Panama area, 5.1 aftershock uh, from yesterday's 6.7 magnitude quake also uh, Puerto Rico area some movement along the southwest area once again no more movement really to report along the Puerto Rico trench area this is a uh, region uh, that we had expect possibly a mega quake to happen one day uh, no doubt it's got potential but today just uh, a few earthquakes on the on the average uh, level for the Puerto Rico area <clears throat> uh, northwestern part of the Pacific Ring, pretty quiet once again, folks. Not a whole lot going on. Some movement uh, around the Indonesia area and also south of the Samoa region, 56 kilometers for that 4.8. Hawaii, a little bit of movement over the past hour. Looks like um, up around the Kilauea volcano once again, outside of the rim, and uh, some further movement on the southeast flank. Uh, roughly about 33 kilometers or so below the surface for this general activity. Mauna Loa, a little, little bit of movement, 2.4 within the last hour uh, right there at the crater area. So we'll see how, uh, we'll see what general activity, uh, how it does over the next 24 hours or so. Yellowstone National Park, seeing some uh, movement as well. A little bit of swarming uh, kicking up there in the uh, Lake Yellowstone area once again. Uh, nothing significant, just kind of spitter spattering, uh, as you can see throughout the last uh, 24 hours or so. Comes and goes. Uh, I don't see any sign of any type of magma intrusion or magma movement underground. Uh, look to me, it looks like just general plate tectonics at play here in the region for now. Trimmer, trimmer map in the Pacific Northwest shows some movement into the Northern California area, down dip downstream here. You got a picture if you will in your mind underneath the North American plate as a Juan de Fuca plate here subducts underneath here underneath the plate North American plate you get some trimmer and vibrational uh, quakes taking place and um, looks like about 241 epicenters of trimmer at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone uh, so watch for potentially some further movement uh, once again there at the surface or possibly uh, down there around 20 to 25 kilometers uh, for the uh, uh, for some potential larger larger than tremor movement uh, down dip downstream of the Cascadia so uh, a little bit of movement up in the Pacific Northwest here's some of the activity taking place there at Yellowstone National Park looks like USGS has uh, issued a few of those quakes there mostly in the microquake range 2.4 looks to be the largest in the sequence there below Yellowstone Lake uh, but the earthquake swarm still continuing and uh you know who knows we had one a couple years ago last for uh about three months during the summer so we could possibly be seeing a repeat of that we'll have to see how mother nature uh plays this out all right folks i am going to cut it short have a good night stay safe out there kind of working on some uh uh some more decals and whatnot sending some out kind of got lazy today uh, but I do have another group of uh, oh, about, oh man, probably about 30 or 40 decals going out in the mail. So look for those in the mailbox for those of you that uh, requested them. Have a good night. Stay safe, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. And uh, man, and just I'm I'm done with these fires. I'm just it it blows me away how these fires can just start out of the blue. You know, uh, it's just it seems impossible. Have a good night, guys. Chat you later. Stay safe.